Okay, so today I am just doing some random inspections and I am going to start with this hive because there are bees just coming and going from it like crazy and I'm hoping to have a mated queen in here. Uh, there was a virgin queen last time I got in this hive. Hopefully by now she's a mated queen. So I'm going to try to dig through this pretty quick. I found my new queen. She was big before she was mated. She is ginormous now that she is mated. Look at how big and bright she is. Just beautiful. Tiny little white dot. That's all I need to be happy. She is just great. I'm going to put this right back together. And I am thrilled to have a new mated queen in here. Let's hop over and check out this hive real quick. And see if we have a queen that's mated. A virgin or nothing at all. Last time I was in here, I had queen cells. This isn't a very big hive. It definitely needs some brood to help it expand. And I'm hoping a quick turnaround on a mated queen does the trick for them. They're drawing out foundation good. Lots of nectar. Pretty heavy frame. I've still got some queen cells in here. So I still have queen cells down inside this hive. They have not hatched out yet. There's one, two, three, four, five of them on this frame. I'm actually going to take away these three here and crush them. I don't want too many queens hatching out and cause a swarm. If I get too many virgin queens hatching at once, some of them will swarm off and take these bees, and this hive is not strong enough to be able to afford that. So it's all I did there is just peeled those off. I left two queen cells on this frame, and I'm going to slap this back together. There's no point in going any farther in here. Okay, so this is the next hive I'm going to get in. My brick is standing up. So last I knew I had queen cells in here. Actually, last I knew I had several queen cells in here. More than what I would normally leave. This top box is pretty much empty. I just recently added it. The bees haven't even moved up into it yet. Now oh, there's one. One whole bee. So we're just going to pop this off. And we're going to get down in here. So this frame, I believe, had some queen cells on it. Here we go. Big old capped queen cells. They have not hatched yet. 
back. This one over here isn't completely even sealed up yet, but the one is just huge. And look how big those queen cells are. Those are just massive queen cells. So I have two queen cells on that frame. There's something you don't see every day. Right here. This bee right here. She looks wet. That's a freshly hatched or emerged virgin queen. There we go. Freshly emerged virgin queen. She literally just walked out of this cell right here. So since I have a hatched queen in this hive, I'm going to put her back and pull out the other frame that has the queen cells on it, and I'm going to move that over to a nuke box. And if you take a frame, you have to replace a frame. I'm going to drop this drawn comb right in here, push them together. Drop this one right down here. Put my box back on top for them to work on drawing out that comb. And now that I have a hatched out virgin queen, which was incredible timing, my brick lays down and moves to the back of the hive or the back of the cover like that. So now I know there's a virgin queen in that hive. Okay, now I'm going to quick go through these two, not concerned about having a queen, because I know they're queen right. More so, I need to know how they're filling out the comb on the upper boxes. These hives had quite a few frames robbed from them early on for doing splits and it looks like they're drawing up some comb pretty good. They were left with a lot of blank foundation on here. Let me pull out one of these. Oh yeah, I actually figured this one would be completely blank, but they've sort of drawn that out decent. Set that one off to the side. That one's completely blank on both sides. Work our way across quick and look for some brood up top so I know that queen's moved up. No, nothing there. Started to draw it out, but not much yet. Look at how white that fresh wax is. Little bit of pollen down in there. heavy with nectar soon to be honey okay there are some eggs down inside here both sides let's see if the camera will get that at all for you some little eggs way down inside there Hopefully the camera picked it up. This has been drawn out wide. Nice. Some young larvae down inside there. There's the queen right at the very top. She's a new queen this year. Should mark her really quick while I have her. She's fast. Bam. Just like that. Beautiful.
Look at her running around there all white. And I put her right back where she came from. So they will need another box soon. Might even throw one on later on today. But for now, I'm going to close this up and check out the hive right beside it. And see if they're both in the same situation. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. A little smoke. Pop the inner cover. Yeah, they look like they might be in the same situation here. They got lots of lots of good comb getting drawn out here. This frame was never put down tight. So let's see what they're doing. Yeah, they're starting to draw it out. Just on one side. and a lot of nectar. I can see some drone brood it looks like on this one. Oh yeah, that's a decent little brood frame. I've got some queen cups on here, but no queen cells. There's some fresh eggs down inside there. I don't have the queen on that side. Let's look over here real quick. Nope, I got the queen right there. Sweet. I might as well mark her since I found her too. Today it's going well. So the queen is here. We're just gonna... And the queen flips to the back side. Go figure. She's camera shy. And she went to the back side again. Okay. This is gonna get old. We need to just find her and get her marked. Is she on camera? She is on camera. She is right here. Got a little dot. Doesn't show up super well. I'm going to try to hit her one more time quick. There's our white dot on our queen bee. Right there. I'm gonna put her right back inside. Okay, I don't need to see anything more. I'm gonna slide this blank foundation in there. And I think both of these are ready for an extra box here soon.
Okay, so I just ran up and grabbed two extra boxes. They are honey supers, actually. I'm going to throw these on top of the two hives right here in the camera and call it good. Hopefully they get some honey stored up in these. Okay, we are now making some honey. So the last inspection I want to do and show you guys is on this nuke box. This nuke box had a virgin queen and had lane workers prior to that virgin queen. This nuke box had lane workers. Their queen went out to get mated and never came back. So the queen pheromone went away, and the queen pheromone prevents the female workers from laying eggs. So the queen goes out, doesn't return, there's no queen pheromone, and the workers started laying eggs, at least a couple of them. And it was a mess full of eggs being laid all over the place. Some frames had cells that had four or five eggs at a time down inside them. There were eggs being laid on the top of the comb, eggs being laid all over the place. So I put another queen cell in here that was just getting ready to emerge. Several days later we still had a virgin queen in here and they seem to have accepted her just fine. But I've not been back in here since to see if she went out and got mated or if they ended up killing her off. There's still plenty of bees. Lots of bees for this new box. But it's no good without a laying queen. None of it matters if they're not going to accept a queen into this hive. See, and I have some capped over brood on here. But it's all drone comb. and drone brood because drones are all that lane workers can produce. So there's an egg down in here. I'm just kind of looking for eggs. I'd love to see the queen but I'm also looking for eggs and I do have a couple cells that have a very nicely laid egg in them and that is more leaning towards a queen than laying workers. Laying workers lay eggs very sloppy. Where a queen places one egg really nice in a cell and moves on. So maybe I got lucky and that virgin queen that I put in here did me a solid and got mated and came back. That frame had no eggs and no queen. This frame has the most bees on it, so it makes sense if there was a queen that she was here. 
Uh, lots of capped over drone brood. There's also capped over worker brood here, though. And I don't remember if I gave them an extra frame of brood or not, to be honest. Okay, I do not see any eggs. Or at least not enough to say that they are eggs from an actual queen. There's one or two randomly laid eggs in here. I also do not see a queen. And I'm usually pretty quick at spotting the queen. So I'm going to put this back together. And when I get the next opportunity to drop another frame with a queen cell on it, I'm going to do that and see how that works out for me. It is hard to reverse laying workers. And so my brick goes crooked because it's a mess. So that's the last video I'm going to show you guys for now. I'm actually going to walk out and check my package and nuke install. I've not been in there in almost two weeks. So it'll be interesting to see what we got coming from that. Thank you for watching the videos.